What's up guys, what's Gucci? So 2017, 2017 is finally winding down and I hope you guys have a happy new year. I hope you guys had a great Christmas. I hope Santa was really good to you guys. Hope you guys got the stuff that you wanted over the Christmas, over this holiday. But anyways, today we're gonna be talking about the top five sneakers that released in 2017. I know some YouTubers are doing top 10 sneakers that released over 2017, but for me that's a lot because most of the year I was more focused in school. I couldn't really focus on every sneakers that drop every weekend. So the top five sneakers that I'll be talking to you guys about are the sneakers that I'm more aware of when they dropped. So enough of me talking, let's get into it. All right guys, so number five on the list is a pair of Jordan that last released in 2013, so four years ago, and it's a pair of Air Jordan 1 Royal Colorway, the OG. Now, I tried to get this pair of sneaker, but I couldn't because I'm a size 10 and a lot of people wear size 10. It's kind of tough to get sneakers when a lot of people wear the same size as yours. My friend got a pair of Royal ones and he's in size 11 or 12, I think. So he's able to get those easily because not a lot of people wear those size. But he told me that the quality on those sneakers are really good and to be honest, I, I got a little jealous and I did hear that they were gonna re-release the sneaker over the summer but I think they did and I guess I missed out on them. But yeah, that's on the top 5 of my list, the Royal ones. Number 4 on the list is a pair of Yeezy 350s. I know there's a few colorway that dropped this year. You got the red colorway, you got the cream white, you have that blue tint colorway that dropped later this year. But what I really like is the zebra colorway. The zebra colorway looks so sick. Like I actually saw one in person. I saw one when I went to Friday night. And if you guys want to see the vlog video on that one, I'll put the link down below in the description box and you guys can watch that video. But yeah, that colorway is so nice. It looks so sick. It almost looks like this Ultra Boost Oreo colorway. Like, I love the stripes that's going around that easy. Like, I wish I could have got those when they released, but as I said before, it's kind of tough to get those when you're living in Winnipeg and you're in a size 10. A lot of people wear your size. But yeah, number four on the list is a pair of easy. 350 zebra color one. number three on the list would have to be the off-white collaboration with the Nike and Air Jordan now there's like nine different off-white collaboration sneakers that released this year but if I was to choose which one I really like it would have to be the off-white collaboration with the Air Jordan 1 now that Air Jordan 1 is so nice like I'm gonna be honest at first I wasn't really feeling it but over time like the more I look at it, I was like, damn, like that sneaker looks so sick. Like I really like the colorway. You got the Chicago colorway, the white, red, and black colorway. And I like what they did to the side of the sneakers. Like I like what they did to the lettering. The, on the midsole, they got the air on the side of, of the midsole. And also on the other side of the sneaker, they have this off-white lettering. And I also like what they did on the Nike logo, that nice black Nike logo on the side of the sneaker really pops up and also the tag that's hanging down on the side of the sneaker like it's something new something different you know it's something that you don't really see in any sneakers so you know, that's why I like it and that's why it's on my top three so number two on the list so for me it has to be the Jordan 4 cost collaboration so if you guys didn't know Jordan 4 is my favorite Jordans in the Jordan line series like the design on the Jordan 4 is so nice like like I really like these lace holes right here or what we would call it like the wings part of this sneaker and like just how this the design on the Jordan 4 looks like and with the cost collaboration the cost took that sneaker into the next level i don't own a pair of jordan 4 cost because as i said before i live in Winnipeg, and it's kind of hard to get those type of sneakers here but i've watched other youtubers who have them and the material on that sneaker is so 
high quality and I really like what Cost have done to the sneaker the cool gray colorway just looks so nice and also the material the quality on the sneaker I really like what they've done to the outsole it's a glow in the dark outsole and I know there's also a black colorway and the black colorway looks really nice too but I'm feeling the cool gray colorway more because it just pops out but yeah overall I really like what they've done to the sneaker I wish I had it in my collection maybe I'll go to New York and go grab a pair of my own and I know it's gonna be costly so I'm gonna have to save up for that but anyways guys let's move on to the number one sneaker of the year well what I believe should be the number one sneaker of the year so number one on the list actually have the sneaker and you guys probably would not agree with my number one but I have a reason why it's number one so number one on my list is actually this Reebok and Kendrick Lamar Club C collaboration the reason why this is number one on my list it's because of the story behind this sneaker every single detail on this sneaker has a story behind it and if you guys want to know the story behind this sneaker I did an unboxing video on this sneaker and I also told the story behind it so I'll put the link down below in the description box and also it should pop on the corner right there and you guys can definitely check it out but yeah this is number one on my list because of the story behind this sneaker like like you can have this ultra boost you can have different color way on this ultra boost but what's the story behind it though you have this ultra boost in the oreo colorway so now you're gonna be thinking like okay what's the story behind it like you can go to internet and search up what is the story behind the ultra boost oreo colorway you know you're probably not gonna see anything you're probably not gonna see a story behind the sneaker because it's just a colorway but for this Reebok and Kendrick Lamar collaboration there's actually a story behind the sneaker and that's why this is my number one the story behind it and I actually like the material they've used on the uppers it's like um, a pair of jeans that they've cut and put it in the sneaker this is my number one on the list and you guys probably not gonna agree with me but that is fine this is what I believe is the top five sneaker of the year but if you guys have a top five sneaker what you guys believe should be the top five sneaker of the year definitely leave me a comment down below I want to know what you guys is top five sneaker of the year but those are my top five sneaker of the year so that's pretty much it guys hope you guys like this video and if you guys do make sure you hit the like button down below and also if you guys have not subscribed yet to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button down below too and that's pretty much it guys till next time deuces <music>